Hello everyone, today I will be giving you a tour of my office. This video is a little different than what you've seen from me in the past, given that it's more of a vlog. I apologize in advance for the audio and any of the jumpy edits. I had to cut out a lot of clips because my audio was too low while the background was too loud. Other than that, I'll be linking any of the items or books that I mentioned so that you guys can check it out on your own time. To start this tour off, this is what my current computer setup looks like. It's nothing fancy and it works for what I need. Right here is a old TV I had. I upgraded the one that was in my room. Over here I have a ring light that I got off Amazon, super cheap. It's on a scissor arm. Pulls out, pulls out all the way, and points down. It's real great when I want to film something. It also works for when I'm just drawing and need more light. We have this overhead light, but it's not great when I'm drawing. I have this simple HP computer. I have three design programs, uh, the video editor, and just some random programs in it. Can run a few just fine. Nothing super fancy, but it works. Pen cup full of pens, this container full of things I'll open up in just a second. This is a design notebook I have. I'll open it up for you now. It is where I do all my design work. It's really nice because it has these grids and it's good for getting correct proportion when designing. This is what it looked like when I was figuring out what I want to do for my own branding. Another notebook just for jotting down notes. Don't need to open it. And I have this Wacom tablet that I do. I think it's the Intuos and it's nothing fancy. It doesn't have a screen but it does the job and that's all it needs to do. And here I have all these things. I have an external hard drive. This is a tripod I use. There's a bunch of other ones in there. Moving on. In this art bin, it hosts the majority of my art supplies. I've had this for at least 12 years now. This opens up and I'll go to all the supplies. It's really great for holding all my supplies. I don't like taking up a lot of space. You don't use all your art supplies all the time, so it's nice to have it stored away nicely. Up here, I have exacto knives, uh, sandpaper, blending sticks, Q-tips. I also have all of my paintbrushes and a ruler because it's the only way it fits in here and this sponge. If I open this up, I have Sharpies that I've had for at least 15 years. Alcohol markers. These were originally my brother's, but he didn't want them. Here are some Sharpies that are kind of metallic. They're technically not Sharpies. Here are Posca pens, actual Sharpies. Also have a few brush pens in there. And down here on the third shelf, um, these are eraser like sticks. White gel pens, micron pens, graphite sticks, charcoal sticks more charcoal, even more charcoal. I have a lot of charcoal because they've been gifted to me, so every time someone gave me an art set, they'd always have charcoal. I have some graphite sticks and some sharpeners. And on the very bottom is where I keep all my paints. These are the only colors I have. I end up having to mix a lot. You don't need a whole lot of paint to paint things, as long as you know what you're doing. Back here, I have some Mod Podge, which is a craft glue, and I have some watercolor Friskit. I have a paint palette here, a sharpener. This is a makeup bag that I repurposed, and it has my colored pencils. These are Prismacolor. These are what I use for painting and if I do anything colorful. I really like them. They blend well and they're pretty smooth. The other color pencils I have are watercolor pencils. These were a gift from my stepsister. And I haven't used them very much because I don't do a whole lot of watercolor. Under that pencil case, I have these, which are Winsor and Newton oil colors. I haven't used them yet, and I'm kind of terrified. Under the oil colors, I have some watercolors. They're just cheap ones, and I'll be using them as I learn that medium one. I have gouache. I bought this originally for my graphic design schooling. We had to do color theory, and within that course, we used gouache because it layers more. I also have this gold paint. So that's it for the art bin. And if we go to the right, I have this skull, which my dogs brought up. We live in the desert and there's a watch right next to our house, so they used to always escape before we got a fence that could contain them and they would bring up random dead animals. To the right of that, I have canvases. This is a painting that I'm supposed to be working on but haven't. This is my first acrylic pour. I also have a bunch of other canvases. More acrylic pours that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. Some abandoned paintings that I might go back to. That's all that's on the right side of my office. 
and if you come with me over to the left side, you'll get the more office-y, school type side. This is where I write all my to-do tasks. I often forget to write things on here. Here are my cat magnets, my little cat butts, and my little enamel pin that was my brother's and then it broke off his backpack. I have a skeleton that was my grandmother's. I have a candle, and this scent is not on here, but it's sugar cookie, and some hand salve. Here I have all the books that I either purchased or were given as part of my graphic design degree program. Photoshop and Design and Adobe Animate. This is a book for my DSLR camera. It was my grandpa's. It doesn't do video, so it's not what I record my videos on. Here's another graphic design book and another one. This was for my graphic design course. It's a really great book, and if you're interested in HTML or CSS, I definitely suggest it. Another Photoshop book from my courses. A design book. This book right here, the figure drawing, I bought. It's really nice. It goes into anatomy. It's figure drawing by Michael Hampton. Another anatomy book. Also highly suggested if you like anatomy. It goes into a bunch and it breaks down the body and everything you need in it. So anatomy for sculptors by Oldis Zarens and Sandis Kondratz. I think it's a Russian book. More design books. This color theory book was good if you're interested in color theory. If you don't know color theory, this is a good one. You'll learn how to mix colors and all the good things you need to know. Some more books for my graphic design. Here's some more art books. This is one that's really good. It's anatomy and color and light and all these great artists. Um, it's art, fundamentals. Look it up on Amazon. And this one I like, it's really pretty. I can't really show you because it's got a lot of nudity in it. But it's Anatomy for the Artist by Sarah Simlet. So I found a page that you can look at. What's interesting about this book is it has these overlays. This is really great for understanding anatomy. The photograph and the overlay. So the main reason I bought this book, and it's got beautiful photographs. Below this art book area that's now annihilated, if you pop below, I have all this storage. This is an easel. It's metal, it's compact, and it holds large canvases, so it works great. Here I have a tripod that was my grandpa's. It was given to me when that camera was given to me. Up here I have my palettes. I have a glass panel, a Dollar Tree paper board. I forget what these are called. I also have this. It used to be my stepmom's. Somehow I ended up with it. Use it quite often for my crafts. If we open this drawer up on the top, I have a random brown piece of paper, some watercolor paper, sketch books, a drawing prompt book, some more sketchbooks, craft paper at the very bottom, various papers. In the second drawer, I have glues, glue sticks, washi tape, super glue, glue gun that needs more glue, some tape, scissors, hole punch, hole punch, possible future project, glitter, some brown rectangular tags that my mom got for a project she was working on at work, some word cards that I use for a memory like jar, and over here we have this container. It's in this case. Um, I use this for any inking. We bought ink. My mom opened it up even though I told her it wasn't the right one and it didn't work so I just emptied out the ink into these vials. Um, there's some oil pastels that I haven't used since I was like in fourth grade. Some pastels, extra pencils from all the gifts that I've received throughout the years. Right, move this. The next drawer this is kind of like my junk drawer. It does have a purpose, it just doesn't look as beautiful. These are the paintbrushes. This is the most accessible drawer, so they go down here. Um, I have an old mason jar that I use for water, another jar that I use. Clean my brushes with that one, and then I'll dip in this one for fresh, clean water. I use this on top of things that I paint with gouache or whatever that can be wiped off just to kind of seal it. I have this Liquitex pouring medium that I use for those acrylic pores that I showed you. Tiny canvases that would get lost with my big canvases. A hair dryer because I'm very impatient and don't want to spend hours on something that could probably take 10 minutes or less than an hour. Yarn that I use for crafting. A really old box that has bracelet, embroidery, felt, buttons. There's also a bunch of string. I make my for me bracelets a lot. Some wood canvases in a frame that I'll sand down and paint over. That's the bottom of that. 
So move all this to the side. This is my sewing drawers. I used to have a sewing machine, but it recently broke when I was trying to sew some masks. So this is currently my sewing stash. And if we move from now this giant mess, we can look to the right where these are now. We have two vine cabinets. This one is mine. Here are my magnets. I like collecting magnets and random things. There's a cat one on the side. More ones. And another kitty. My cat is typically right here when I'm in my office. And then to the left of him, this chair that my father was getting rid of. Another cat tree where the other cat usually sits or lays while I'm working. To the left of that, we have this bookshelf. Some pottery that I did. This one is a bowel bowl. So that's pretty much it. If we look up, we have some pictures and paintings. This one is an artwork print from my cousin's husband, Justin Hartman. This is one of my paintings that I did. Another one from my cousin's husband. And then if we walk over to the side of the office, my degree. I completed that last year. This nipple painting I just did. This painting you guys just got a video about. This was a graduation present from high school. And it's from one of the bands that I enjoy, which is Portugal the Man. This is just one of their album covers. On this wall, I have this giant tapestry. It's from Society6. I'll have to link her below. And then next to that, I have one of my sketchbook pages. I really like the colors on this one. It matches the painting or the tapestry pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little tour. I typically keep it clean, but when I'm working on things, as you can see, kind of just move on to the next thing and then I have this giant mess to clean up after. So thank you for watching and let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Bye!